Hey YouTube, look what I got. It's another box. It's from the Mean Instruments Corporation. Um, it's another telescope. <laughs> it's um, their model 227000 Eclipse View. It's a 82 refre uh, refre uh, reflector. So it's, it's not the biggest reflector out there, but it's a uh, tabletop reflector. <clears throat> so I'm going to get it out of the cardboard and we'll see what's inside there. Alright. Okay. There she is. Upside down. All right. It's the Eclipse View 82. Again, it's a reflector. It's um, day and night. So what's nice about this is it has a a solar filter that are attached to um, the top part there. <clears throat> so you can view at night like this by itself and um, during the day with this one. So it's, uh, I got it because it's pretty um, pretty portable. <clears throat> and it comes with two um, eyepieces and a times two is it or a times three? Times two barrel line. And uh, my stuff front in the box. And nothing in the back here. I guess you can know, stand it like that. There's a side. So the focal length is is only 300 millimeters. So it's 82 by 300. Not too bad. <clears throat> yeah, it has a little stand here. <clears throat> also, the eyepieces are um, a 26 millimeter and a 9 millimeter. That's enough to view um, the solar system and uh, the sun and the moon. <laughs> no, nothing deep, deep space. But um, that's what I'm. I'm not using it for. I'm just using it for the eclipse. Maybe later on I'll get something for deep space, but I can't afford anything right now. <clears throat> hint, hint. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's in the box. Actually, I'm going to pause it real quick, take a couple of photos of the box. Okay, so let's get it unboxed. It's made my mead. I remember I, I had a mean one when I was very, very young. It was a uh, reflector telescope, a lot larger than this guy. I don't know what I did with it. We moved and whatnot, and then I got misplaced, and then probably got thrown in the trash. I got a renewed interest in telescopes because of the eclipse. <laughs> I'm just hoping I get some good weather when I'm when I'm down there in South Carolina. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, instructional DVD and star uh, an auto star suite. Oh my, it's for PC. So nothing for Mac. Huh? <laughs> so they have two models. They have the small one, which is the one I got, and they're much larger one, which is, which is too expensive for me. 
and the larger one is in 114. I got the 82. <coughs> and instructions. It's a tiny telescope <laughs> for a reflector, at least. Here's my iPhone. You can see the size of it. This is my iPhone uh, 6 Plus. So you can see the pair of size. It's not that big. <laughs> it's nice and portable. So, undo that screw here. You can move it up and down. That's the front. The cap. Oh, it has a solar filter on already. That's the silver part there. A little knob here to turn to remove that. And, wow, I don't see the mirror inside there. So, light goes in there, flex off the mirror, hits this middle part, and shoots out the eye in there. And it swivels, you can see. No, not here, you can. Um, tighten up if you want, I guess. And there's no dovetail here. It's kind of disappointing. So I'm um, pretty much stuck on the stand here. Can't put it on another um, another tripod. And that comes off with the eyepiece in. Come on. Ah, it's tight. A knob here for the focus. And um these two guys here are to put the finder in. It comes with two finders actually. It comes with a um a sun one and a regular one. And I'm assuming it's in this box here, so I'll do that in a second. A little warning. Mm -hmm. Always use a sun filter, right? And I'm going to find our details there. <laughs> Let me know to point out like that. I like it. A little tape top. Not too fancy. It'll do the job. So uh, let's move this to the side a little bit. <clears throat> let's see what's in this other box. Uh, so it does come with a regular cover, lens cover, or whatnot. Kind of go on here. So if you're using that light, well, of course I'm having trouble. Brand new, so it's, everything's tight. So solar and light. Yeah, cheapo times two barrel lens. Barlow keeps in barrel. It's a borrow lens. Borrow. Two viewfinders. Like I said, it comes with a solar one and a, a nighttime one. See the solar one here. Tiny little dot there. Little hole. Sun will shine through it and it'll cast a light right here. Then you know, see right here, sun shine light right there. Then you know it's in focus or not. Or not in focus, but in view. So it hooks up with just two little screws here. Up there. And uh, a red dot finder. So 
a battery compartment. Yeah, you can see the red dot there. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. I haven't used a red dot one yet, so I don't know how it's like. So we'll see. I've used regular finders, and uh, pretty, I'm pretty comfortable with those, but red dot ones I've never used before. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, the most fanciest of uh, eye pieces, but it'll work. It's just 26. There's a lower powered one. And you get a 9 millimeter, which is a higher powered one. <clears throat> so you can look at the box there. Um, yeah. But, you know, it's all, it's a the 9 millimeters would be a 33 magnification power, and the 26 is a 12 magnification power. Good deal. So that's what you get. And you get the telescope. With the thing here and the solar filter. Should be pointing that way. And one thing to note, there's no there's no um tripod and mount there. Like <laughs> some of the other ones I saw I've seen. And um that's it. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Catch you later. One more thing. In case you're wondering, you take it out, a couple of washers on this end and the screw. Oops, little knob here, right? And you can't put it on a regular tripod, so it's stuck on this platform here. All right, uh, okay, that's enough. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs> but, uh, on a manual, there it has two quick start guides. Uh, the quick start for viewing the sun gives you tips on what on how to view it and how to set it up with the sun finder, and it has a nighttime one. Again, with tips and whatnot, and um, how to uh, insert the uh, eyepiece, and how to do the red dot finder. So uh, I'm impressed with the instructions. Um, this is a very beginner um, telescope, so it's very useful to have these these kinds of um, instructions to help guide you. You know, especially if you're a little kid um, trying to view it. So um, yeah, just thought I want to point that out. And the instructions, I, I believe you can download online too. I, I think I saw, I saw it online. I was looking at instructions and whatnot before I ordered this. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. overall, it's a very, very uh, sturdy, very good um, beginner telescope. Yeah, I like it. It swivels. You can tighten it up, but it's. It's pretty, it's pretty tight. It's not 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 super tight, but this is enough for it to uh, move around and not shake. <clears throat> Same goes with this. It's a piece of cloth or a little felt piece right here. That it helps to lower it down a little bit. So it won't go crazy on you. I like that. <clears throat> and again, it's made by Mead. I got... I got I, I got some fine memories of fond memories of Mead and a couple of tiles or a couple of tiles from them when I was young. It's good to just do it and stuff. Alright guys, signing off. Thanks for watching.